We are counting down the eight most extraordinary personal sky vehicles, redefining what it means to travel. From wearable jet suits and high-speed boards to flying cars and powerful hybrid aircraft, these breakthroughs are lifting the boundaries of movement. Which airborne innovation is about to reshape your idea of mobility? Pause, imagine which one you would choose. Let us begin the countdown with number eight. Strap a thousand horsepower to your body and suddenly flight is no longer just for the birds. The jet suit by Gravity Industries wraps five micro jet turbines around your arms and back, letting you soar at speeds up to 85 kilometers per hour and climb as high as 3,600 meters. Every movement of your arms steers your path. Flight becomes as natural as walking, but now you're gliding above the ground. With a price tag near $440,000 and a strict training regime, this is a machine for specialists and daredevils, not daily commuters. Yet in rescue drills and industrial inspections, the jet suit proves that the dream of becoming your own aircraft is already real. Pause and imagine, what would you do if nothing held you down? Frankie Zapata strapped himself to a turbine-powered board and aimed for the impossible, crossing the English Channel, standing on nothing but thrust and nerve. In August 2019, he launched from France, flying over open water at speeds topping 200 km per hour with only 10 minutes of flight time between urgent refueling stops. The flyboard air delivered 140 kg of thrust, lifting him as high as 150 meters above the waves. Onboard gyroscopic stabilization, combined with body movements and a remote, kept him balanced. That channel crossing, after a failed first attempt and a dramatic rescue from the sea, became a symbol of raw human daring. Perseverance turned into spectacle. The ride is short, the power astonishing. A flash of airborne freedom that pushes the limits of what a single person can command in the sky. The copter pack is less science fiction, more garage reality. A personal helicopter that straps to your back and weighs 42 kilograms. Two coaxial rotors lift you and a payload of up to 120 kilograms into the air, flying at speeds near 70 kilometers per hour for about half an hour on a single battery charge. Unlike the high-octane stunts of jet suits or turbine boards, this ultra-light craft is designed for everyday practicality. In many countries, you do not even need a full pilot's license to fly. Imagine storing your own rotor craft at home, ready for a spontaneous liftoff. Personal flight is not just for thrill seekers anymore. It is becoming a tool you could actually use. Jetson One makes flight feel personal, not just possible. Weighing only 86 kilograms, this single-seat electric aircraft lifts off from your own backyard and flies up to 102 kilometers per hour for about 20 minutes at a time. Eight electric motors work in tandem, offering redundancy and stability even if one fails. Priced roughly at $92,000, Jetson One is not just a prototype. It is a product with over 5,000 reservations worldwide. No pilot's license is needed in many regions thanks to onboard computer assists. For the first time, the dream of owning your own flying machine is moving from fantasy to reality, one reservation at a time. In cities across China, the Xpeng Aero HT X2 is redefining what it means to commute, a glimpse of the future taking shape above our streets. This twin-seat electric octocopter weighs 680 kilograms and can carry up to 160 kilograms of passengers and luggage. It can fly for about 25 minutes at speeds reaching 130 kilometers per hour. With over 4,000 test flights logged, the X2 has become a centerpiece of China's push for a low-altitude economy, supported by government investment in urban sky corridors and vertiport infrastructure. Its autonomous flight system lets passengers chart a course with just a tap. Safety features like redundant motors and an emergency parachute aim to make airborne travel as routine as hailing a cab. Priced around $120,000, the X2 is not just a prototype. It is a signal of national ambition, blending personal mobility with the scale of public policy. In a country where vertical takeoff is now part of city planning, the dream of everyday flight is no longer out of reach. High above the salt flats of South Australia, 
the Airspeeder Mark III rockets to nearly 300 km per hour, its eight rotors spinning in perfect symmetry. This isn't just a race, it's a proving ground for the next era of urban air mobility. Each Airspeeder is equipped with advanced AI collision avoidance, using redundant sensors and real-time data to keep pilots safe, even during high-speed aerial duels. When a navigation error nearly caused a mid-air incident during unmanned trials, engineers doubled down on LiDAR and ultrasonic backups before approving manned competition. The lessons learned here about trust, automation, and safety are already shaping the technology that will guide future flying vehicles through crowded city skies. In this arena, speed and innovation are inseparable. Every lap brings vertical mobility closer to daily life. Pivotal Helix invites you to step off the curb and into the sky, no pilot's license required. Weighing just 115 kilograms and classified as an ultralight, this electric aircraft cruises at 100 kilometers per hour for up to 20 minutes, covering a range of 32 kilometers on a single charge. At a price of about $190,000, more than 2,000 orders have already been placed, making it one of the most sought-after personal flying vehicles on the market. Pivotal is not just selling a machine, it is working with city planners on a network of urban vertiports, aiming to turn rooftops and parking lots into launch pads. The Helix stands at the intersection of private ownership and public infrastructure, signaling a future where personal flight is not a spectacle, but a practical part of everyday life. Imagine trading gridlock for open air, your own route, your own schedule, your own wings. TriFan 600 rises from a helipad, then accelerates to 610 kilometers per hour, carrying six people up to 2,400 kilometers. Three ducted fans and a hybrid powertrain promise door-to-door -door city hops or cross-country flights. Luxury, speed, and vertical freedom all in one aircraft. Across all these flying innovations, one pattern is clear. The sky is now open to everyone. Personal air travel is not a fantasy. It is becoming our new normal. Pause and imagine. Grounded living is ending, and the way we move through the world is lifting off.